Hi, hello people. Um, I'm apologising in advance for this. It's a cat toy thing and we have kittens that run around like maniacs. From the title of the video, you know what um, is happening. It's the Walt Disney World hug, which I see daily, Dan and Hayley. I saw them do it and it looked like fun. So why the hell shouldn't I do it? First time you went to Walt Disney World. The first time I went to Dis Walt Disney World. <laughs> was when I was four, so in 1999. I should state it was the year I was turning five. <laughs> Beginning of 1999. Um, favorite park, um, oh, this is, Magic Kingdom kind of un like encompasses what Disney is for me. And I think for that, it will always be my favorite, however, I love Hollywood Studios or back in the day MGM Studios. Hollywood Studios slash MGM Studios with the Backlot Tour um, and Catastrophe Canyon um, is my favourite park. But and I'm excited to see what Toy Story Land and Star Wars Land has to offer. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna say Magic Kingdom for sure. But I I do love Hollywood Studios. I just love Hollywood Studios though because it makes you feel like you're in a movie and that's great <laughs> and you feel like you can be like in la la land like i felt like i was going into the crazy frog then so i'll stop favorite land in magic kingdom oh my god um i I love Tomorrowland because I love the people mover. Uh, but I, <laughs> I feel like Frontierland, I'm gonna say, because it has Big Thunder and it has Splash Mountain. Oh, but there's this Adventureland. Oh, this is so difficult. Um, mm, no, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with Frontierland because I love, like, Big Thunder Mountain is, like, up there for favourite rides and also it has my fav- Frontierland has my favourite place to watch the parade and also it's really open and you can see look all the way down to the Haunted Mansion so you can see uh, like Liberty Square and all that kind of stuff um, so I'm yeah I'm sticking with Frontierland but I love Fantasyland and Tomorrowland and Main Street Oh, is Main does Main Street count as a land? Because girl loves Main Street, especially 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 the bakery, especially the bakery and the ice cream shop. Because me favorite Disney resort hotel. Uh, I've never stayed on Disney property, so I can't go by like kind of one I've stayed in, and I've never ever looked around any resorts because it's difficult when you are driving a car and don't have just Disney transport uh, when you are staying off-site in a villa and have a car it's a bit of a ball ache to do um, so purely from pictures I've seen I mean the Polynesian I think I say this every time it mentions resort hotels I'm like the Polynesian um, it looks, it just looks so like homely and, but adventurous at the same time. And obviously you can see the castle. Favourite snack? Ooh, yeah, yeah. Mine are all going to be sweet related. Um, although I do like Disney popcorn, clearly it's the best. The giant Mickey cookies <laughs> that you can get from Big, uh, the Big Top Circus, is it? Basically, in New Fantasyland, where the Dumbo rides is and the Big Top souvenirs, I think it is, there's a place in there that does giant chocolate chip cookies and it's half dipped in chocolate and then it has like a squiggle of chocolate on top too. They are the bomb diggity. They're also in Hollywood Studios. Um, if you go down the, like the main strip and then go, as you're turning right, to go to um, the Rock and Roller Coaster and Tower of Terror, there's a shop there that which used to be a villain shop and now has very little villain stuff and has lots of bakery things. I also found the chocolate chip cookie there. It's my favourite. I love cookies. <laughs> but yeah, 
Also, as I said, Disney popcorn is just great. Don't know what it is. Don't know what it is. I wish I could be really adventurous and like, what's my favourite snack? And it'd be like really something like, oh, snazzy. But no, it's cookies and popcorn. Favourite souvenir. Does that mean like favourite souvenir to buy for people? Because um, if it is, it's mugs. Uh, I like to buy a Disney mug for people. In fact, last time we went between me and my parents collectively, we bought six mugs. Actually, no, we bought more because I bought two. Oh, but Jesus, we bought eight mugs. Uh, I bought two for myself. We bought eight mugs for between three of us. <laughs> Clearly mugs. Favourite table service and counter service. Um, I feel like I'm gonna be so like my, my favorite table service. Um, I'm gonna discon discount buffets on this one because I do love the Crystal Palace. Um, but I mean like proper, you get your food served to you. Um, just because the last time I went, somebody made my trip so so magical. Tony's Italian restaurant, which is in the front end of Main Street of uh, Yeah, it's right. It's Tony. It's next to where you meet talking Mickey Mouse. I don't know where that <laughs> It's just before you kind of like hit proper Main Street um, It's it's right next Tony's Town Square Italian. I think it's called cool. don't quote me either way Where you go to meet talking Mickey Mouse there's an Italian restaurant which is based on Tony's from Lady and the Tramp and um, the last time I went it was my birthday like my actual birthday so I was like wearing um, my birthday badge as you all saw if you watched the vlogs and uh, Guido, Guido, I still dream about that gorgeous Italian man and he was, he was from Rome too and he kept calling me princess and he gave me free dessert and he's just beautiful. He was so beautiful and like, I'm not gonna lie, that's why it's my <laughs> favorite. It made me, it just made me feel so special when I'd had an, like kind of a really crap start to the day and then it kind of got progressively better and then he like made it Amazing, um, Guido, hashtag Cara and Guido forever. He was just, uh, he was great. And like, I would have like that much Coke left, like left in my glass and he would be like, boom, with a new one. And like, just that level of service is great and something Disney do so well. There was never ever a point where I had to say, can I have another drink please? Because they noticed and boom. So Tony's Italian. Counter service. I feel like I can't answer this <laughs> counter service because whenever I eat at a counter service place, I usually just get chicken nuggets and chips because eating like a five year old is always the best. Um, but, so I'm gonna go on what my mum and dad, or what my mum goes with and kind of the counter service um, opposite Fantasmic in Hollywood Studios. I think it's called Rosie's All-American Cafe. Don't quote me on that though. Um, that one, they did a fried green tomato sandwich, which was great. Like my mum isn't vegetarian, but she was like, that sounds great. And she, and she was like, this is amazing. Um, and she was like, you know, it's really good to have, you know, we were traveling with somebody who was vegetarian and uh, it's great that they had that veggie option um, just already there without going, can I have the chicken salad without chicken because I'm vegetarian? Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, that one, just because my mum really liked the fried green tomato sandwich, I had chicken nuggets and chips. Because it's me. <laughs> Favorite ride, I may go like, through parks favorite ride which still isn't gonna help me answer this question i'm gonna be controversial because it seems every disney vlogger i've seen to have got into recently loves epcot i don't understand why i don't i wouldn't say i hate epcot because i did enjoy going to the food and wine festival this time 
but I don't get Epcot. I don't... <laughs> I don't get why people like it so much. I mean, I understand like going through the countries and learning about different cultures is great, but I mean, like, I, d I just don't get it. Um, but I have been on rides in Epcot, but I can't ever remember going on Test Track or Spaceship Earth or Mission Space. I can't remember going on any of those. The one I can remember is Ellen. <laughs> and also living with the land. So I'm gonna go with living with the land just because all I can remember is seeing Mickey vegetables, um, like carrot shaped like Mickey, um, Mickey ears, and I would be so into buying them in a shop. Like I would eat all the vegetables if they looked like Mickey Mouse. That's actually a lie. I think it's great, it's educational, but in a fun way, that's what Disney does. Um, and then we'll go on to Animal Kingdom and my favourite ride is, I nearly said the Yak and Yeti, that's a restaurant, Cara, Expedition Everest. Um, I love Expedition Everest. It was one of the first roller coasters that I kind of treat like proper kind of big roller coasters I fell in love with. Hollywood Studios, oh, this, I can't pick one. I can't pick one. Um, Rock and Roller Coaster was like the first big roller coaster I ever went on um, when I was 11. I was 11 when I went on it. And my I was there like, oh yeah, it's chill, whatever. Ba ba ba. Um, listening to Disney Mania, like in the queue, like what? And my cousin, who is like over 10 years older than me, heart was like, and I was there like, oh yeah, Disney Mania, what? Just so chill. And he was there like, his heart like, ah. Um, so yeah, the rock and roller coaster, um, it's great. I also like preparing my face for rock and roller coaster. So going like on it or like, but also in Hollywood Studios, Toy Story Mania, because I'm rubbish at Buzz Lightyear, but I'm brilliant at Toy Story Mania. I'm so good at Toy Story Mania. Um, so that's why, just because I'm good at it. I love Star Tours though. Toy Story Mania and Rock and Roller Coaster. Mm, on to Magic Kingdom. <coughs> I love, 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 love the people mover, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but. I also love Space Mountain, and I also love Big Thunder Mountain. So I'm gonna answer Space Mountain and Big Thunder Mountain, just because they're rides that I can go on again and again and again and again and not get bored. I can go on it like 10 times in a row. In fact, I've gone on Big Thunder three times in a row. And it's just great. <laughs> it's so good, it makes me laugh. Um, like till sh streams of tears um yeah favorite show i think we all know this by now it's fantastic yeah favorite parade um fireworks <laughs> um, my favorite parade i do love it's a festival of fantasy also i can remember spectro magic that was something that happened a while ago i remember that being a thing um also the electrical parade and like that's like my shout out to those ones because my actual favorite is boo to you the boo to you parade is just great i love the fact that they have rarer characters out on parade um uh, made me pain and panic because hercules is my favorite um it's just great um yep <laughs> and my favorite fireworks i love wishes um i can't remember the names of ones gone by um, I, I do love Wishes, but Hallow Wishes is also my favourite. Hallow Wishes is just great. Like, I love that, this is Halloween, this is Halloween, 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 Halloween. <laughs> fireworks, fireworks, fireworks. Um, no, I just love, love it so much. Favourite pavilion at Epcot. Um, I struggled with this one, as I said, I don't understand I really like the Japan Pavilion, um, the shop is pretty wicked, um, but because I found out this fact, and purely for this fact alone, it's like Morocco is my favourite pavilion, 
because apparently I think the Prince of Morocco or somebody that the head of state in um, Morocco actually designed the pavilion himself and was ve that is very very kind of strict on what was going to happen so it felt like Morocco and there's also a reason you can see the Hollywood Tower Hotel from the Morocco Pavilion but because it's the same colour scheme as the rest of Morocco it was okay for that to be there because it fitted in there wasn't like hang on up uh, it all kind of blends in so for that reason Morocco is my favourite because Disney magic. What colour is your magic band? My magic band is Chip and Dale colour. Um, so, I mean, technically it's yellow. Um, that is my magic band. Yay! Favourite character to me? I answered that question. <laughs> Chip and Dale, Donald Duck are always very, very fun to meet. Uh, a character you haven't met but want to. Ba la 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 la. Baymax. I want to meet Baymax so badly, um, which I mean I'd have to go to Epcot to meet him. Um, and I love Baymax. I love uh, Big, Hero Big Hero 6 in general, um, but Baymax, he just looks so cuddly. <laughs> he just looks so soft and I just like, like a pillow. And, I and best Disney memory. I've got a lot of Disney memories, so where to even begin? I think one of the, like, whenever it's your birthday at a park uh, or at Disney, it's magical and just all the memories. Um, and this specific time, because I've only ever really worn a birthday badge for like an evening before. Wearing it all day and having characters on parade come up to me and go happy birthday um was pretty pretty magical pretty ma like and like having like even on the main street electrical parade i had people going happy birthday and i was there like what and obviously it was like the penultimate day that the electrical parade was on which i was emotional about that anyway because i've always seen the main street electrical parade so if you want to do the tag Feel free to do it, I'll leave all the questions to it below, um, so you can just answer away if you so desire. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, bye!